and welcome back to the channel there we see it once again the lyric graffiti let's take a peek from the front big old headlight right there all right on this video we are going to do some blending in with traffic and let's hop aboard and be on our way I'm going to change it, make sure it's in off-road mode here, because we are going to go up a hill right off the get-go here. And, but I, I mean, I am getting a running start at this, so, uh... We got up the hill. I can tell you definitely going up that hill there, which is not the biggest hill that I have in my area or anything, but it is a pretty good hill. Um, if I was doing a comparison, I can tell you right now by just doing that hill there that the Grizzly would beat this bike in the hill climbing for sure. I can tell, I can tell, especially with the two motors. If it was only with the one motor, then no, it wouldn't be able to, but uh, with the two motors, yes. Uh, but with one motor, I, I don't know which one would win. Probably this one, maybe, but uh, I don't know. Maybe uh, when we do a comparison in the future, we'll see. But uh, I know for a fact that the, the Grizzly, with the two motors, would have climbed that hill faster, I think, than this bike just did. And I had it on full throttle at the end there. But... I'm not sure until we get them both out side by side kind of deal and try it. I know for sure on the takeoff that the other bike, the Grizzly wins. So for quickness and hill climbing, I think it's going to win out. But I think for overall uh, speed, this one might beat it. But like I say, I haven't tested that yet, so I don't know. But that's, that's kind of the point of having the, uh, I guess, the geared hub motor and having two of them uh, in each, like one in each wheel. That's going to obviously give you a pretty good oomph, you know, on the takeoff and all, and for hill climbing. So that is a, that is a big deal, having uh, two motors um, to get you up the hills, for sure. So we're going to do a little blending in with traffic. We're kind of riding beside the traffic right now, but eventually I have to get over and get in with the traffic. In situations like this, this is where I do like quick acceleration mode to get in with the cars and to uh, get quickly out of the intersection, you know, like keep up with the cars to get through it because as we're going to see up ahead, this bike lane ends and you got to get in with the cars, right? So, um, I like to have quick acceleration there for that. So speed isn't always everything, and and I've said this in the past, I would prefer power uh, over speed. I, I like one that can, 
move quickly so you can get out of situations but I think if you get an electric bike that can go 30 miles an hour I think you're doing pretty pretty good there you know like a lot of times you're not going to use all that speed you know like 30 miles an hour is a pretty good a pretty good amount of speed uh, you know a lot of times when you're riding there's no there's nowhere to ride that you can get up to that speed unless you're on the road like this maybe but even in the bike lane it can be kind of sketchy doing that because sewer drains as I just go by one now or debris in the uh, bike lane you know comes up on you pretty quick when you're going fast this here is where I'm gonna have to get over basically Now the light just changed, so I should be able to make this light, hopefully. See, it's a little slow on the takeoff here. So if anybody's wondering about the, uh, the torque, yes. On the takeoff, it's not going to compete, I don't think, with the uh, Grizzly. You know, and as far as the suspension, I'm not really bothered by not having a suspension on this bike. I don't really find that to be a problem for me, anyway. Maybe if you're doing a lot of off-roading, uh, So yeah, the uh, seems to me like this does not have the uh, the takeout that the Grizzly has, or that the uh, yeah that the Grizzly has. But that was kind of to be expected because the gearless hub motors are just that way, right? One bright sun uh, here today.
Sliding into a little bit of wind, but not too bad. Here's my regen braking here. gonna race that car ahead <laughs> and I forgot there was a stop sign there and I reacted so quickly that I didn't use the regen braking I used the old-fashioned brakes Another stop sign, another chance to use the regen. One thing I'm noticing too when I'm riding now, so I'm, I'm getting more comfortable with the bike and I'm noticing a few things here or there now more. I'm noticing the LCD display here that the bar here, at least for me, I can't see the uh, voltmeter under there. I have to kind of look forward to, to see it. Or I can, or I can go backwards and look like this. But. More reach and braking. And one more time. I really like that regen braking. that's going to do it for another video here on the channel so thank you for joining me today if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button if you'd like to subscribe hit that subscribe button also if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel hit that notification hit that notification bell I'll get it out and you'll be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel if you'd like to purchase this bike, I have a, a link in the description. So it'll take you to the site, and then you just put in the coupon code Oregon eBiker Mark, and it will save you $100 on the bike. So, once again, thank you for joining me today.
and until next time take care